Welcome back, everybody, to Medical Testimony Master Class. And you'll recall it's a forum where we're going to critique the testimony of medical experts in high stakes, complex litigation, whether it's medical negligence or personal injury. We're going to cover it all. We're going to see what works. We're going to avoid obvious pitfalls and really build best practices for working with medical experts at trial and you are in for a treat today because we're going to be watching excerpts from a trial by a very skilled well-known trial attorney most of you will know his name sean claggett of claggett and sykes out of las vegas so sean has got quite a trial that he's prevailed with a 14.1 million dollar verdict and what we're going to be delving into on this clip is Sean's direct examination of Dr. Michael Trainer, who is a Nevada orthopedic spine surgeon who actually operated on the plaintiff. So a little different than our typical expert witness, this is the actual treater. Okay. So again, it's typically performed with the patient on their back uh, and incisions made on the side of the neck depending on the level. The C67 is just a little above the clavicle or collarbone, so this is a right-sided neck incision. And these are the nerve roots that come off the spinal cord and exit the spinal canal. So C6 vertebrae, C7 vertebrae, here's the disc in the middle, and you can see where the nerves are. I'm going to pause at that point, and you all have seen a lot of different uh, demonstratives and whether it's videos or uh, photographs. This one's nice for a couple of reasons. First of all, when we're performing surgery on someone's neck and he's about to take us through a cervical discectomy, surgery can be pretty graphic. And I've seen a lot of videos where the scalpel comes in and there's bleeding and they're pulling skin back and they're dissecting through fat. A lot of that can be intimidating uh, to a juror and make them turn their eyes away. So I really like a clean, modern video, 3D animation. Let's avoid the blood and gore. So yes, they had to open the neck to show you where we're going, but they're on to the next scene already. What I also like is that the expert and attorney are working together. So it's not that he's got to keep saying pause or can you back up? He sort of spoke through it. So it looks very well rehearsed. It's got a good cadence with the video itself. So let's go back to Dr. Trainer as he starts to explain uh, not only the underlying injury with the disc, but how he repaired it. So part of the, the disc issue, you can pause. Yeah, part of the disc issue here is that the cushion's not cushioning, it's collapsed down. And I mean, if you've ever sat on a cushion, you sit, sit on it. it it, it spreads out. Well, if it spreads out and it takes up room where these nerves are, the spinal cord's in the middle, the nerves come off to the right side and the left side. This is the left side on this model. Um, so that nerve could be compressed. If that nerve is compressed, it goes all the way down your arm. And so that's the thought process. That's also been the thought process with the myelogram. If the die is in there and you see the die get cut off to the left side at this area, oh, something's pinching. Look how nice that is. Again, uh, Dr. Trainer is facing the jury. He's not just talking to Sean Claggett, but he's talking to the jury. They're the decision makers in there on that day. And he's putting it in terms they can understand. And not only that, instead of talking about complex uh, intervertebral disc anatomy and disc extrusion and protrusion and everything else, he equates it to a cushion on a chair says if you sit on a cushion on a chair and it bulges out, it's the same thing that happens to a disc that gets squished down. It bulges out and it hurts the nerve that's sitting right there because it gets pressed on. What a great analogy. So whenever you can have an expert take someone through a complex medical process and use simple analogies, it really speaks to a jury. So work with your expert on that. Have them explain what the process is, but then work on different analogies.